Hello, Cindy here with Create Your Own Luck in Love. Welcome. So today we're going to talk about something that I get questioned about a lot from people around, you know, why do I keep repeating the same pattern or, you know, reaching out to a guy that isn't calling me back or, you know, getting into relationships that, you know, and developing feelings really quickly that, you know, blow up or, you know, continuing to go back to an ex that I know is really unhealthy for me. Why, why, why <laughs> do, do we do these things? Why do humans do these things? And, you know, I want you to know that this is, it's normal until it's not. <laughs> it's normal until it's not. It's kind of funny. But I, I'm going to share with you why, why we do this. And especially if you know in your brain that this is not the right thing for me, that you actually have done some work. You, you see that, okay, these decisions are really hurting me. And these patterns aren't serving me. But for some reason, even sometimes you'll go down a pathway that seems good and different, yet the pathway leads to the same thing. Has anybody ever been there where you've started down a path or you know, you've started dating someone and you feel like it's different, yet all roads lead to the same destination. Who's done that? If you have, just put a yes, hell yes, that's me, I've done this. Okay, I'm talking to you. And I'm talking to you if you've, you know, go back to someone in the past or you, you are, you know, you feel like you get in these cycles of, of, you know, connecting with people or behavior that is quite plain and simple, toxic, and not right for you. That's you. Listen up. So why do we do this? Well, the first, the short answer, the very first answer is there's always a payoff to the behavior. There's always a payoff to the pattern. And you might have even heard that before. So my invitation to you is to take a look at what the payoff is for you. And that payoff could be even be as simple as instant gratification or knowing what you're going to get. Because the thing is, as humans, we can know things in our brain. And the most difficult thing to do is to actually have faith in the different choice and the different decision because it we haven't seen the payoff yet you know you it's like it's like i don't know it's like jumping out of an airplane with a you know tandem even, you know, taking your first tandem dive, it's pretty scary, right? So I have something in my eye. Um, so it can, the thing is, is that you, you can do that, but then there is, you know, there's always different levels to go to when it comes to making those real changes. You can know it in your head. You can know, I shouldn't reach out to my ex. I, you know, but what's really underneath that? Why shouldn't you reach out to your ex? What, you know, what's, you know, when you analyze what the payoff is, what's the benefit to you? Because there always is right? So that's the first step. And these decisions, when we're making them with anything, when it comes to impulsively jumping into a new relationship or going along with it, or, you know, 
going back to an ex. It all stems from emotion. They're emotional choices. Now, I know that love is emotional. It is, it's a feeling, it's emotional, yet you can fall in love and also take your brain with you, even with emotions flowing. Part of that secret is learning how to manage your emotions. And that's something I'm diving deeper into with my clients this year is really, you know, the ones that are willing to actually sit down and do the work and make the big changes is managing your emotions. That's the biggest step. Knowing how to do that. And that comes from knowing yourself. So taking deeper steps to knowing yourself will actually support you in making big change. Do you guys see that? Okay. So why, but why the looping? Because the stuck pattern is familiar. It's a familiar pain. And, you know, ultimately when continuing to go back in those old patterns, it's more painful than making the change. It's almost like, you know, when you commit to a healthier lifestyle or working out or the fat loss plan that you are committed to, that stuff is not easy, especially in the beginning. But what happens? Who's been there? I have. When you start seeing results, it's much easier not to go back to your old ways, to eating a pint of Ben and Jerry's at night or whatever it is, you know, whatever got you there in the first place. Or even the old patterns. Maybe you were drinking wine at night. Maybe it was, you know, it could be anything that was keeping you in this place of stuck. Right? So when you get out of it, it becomes easier to. Now, here's the other thing. Here's the other caveat. Our, our mindsets will also go back to what's familiar, which what doesn't feel good. So how many of you have been really committed to working out in their life and then have gone off and didn't work out for a little while or didn't work out regularly? And it's so much harder to get back into it, right? So the thing is, is that it works out the same when it comes to patterning. When we know an old unhealthy pattern, you can go back to it. But when you've experienced something that's so much better, there is power in shifting your emotions, your mindset, and the habits. Um, there's actually a really good book out there called The Power of Habit that I've listened to on Audible several times. I definitely recommend that. And, you know, if you're ready to do that deep work and get into the change, I mean, literally write in the comments below, I'm ready to do that deep work. I am absolutely ready. So great, then you're also inviting me to reach out to you to support you in some accountability around that. I'm, I just, I had this idea to do some accountability to really support you guys in massive change to really allow you to live the life of your dreams, to have the love life that makes you feel like you're pinching yourself in the morning. And letting go of that lower level energy so that you feel good, you feel better, and you're opening yourself up to possibility, to the real, you know, if you desire it, if you have the feeling on your heart, it can absolutely manifest itself. However, it is going to take some effort to change and once you get past that first hump it becomes easier and easier it really does so it's 
I was, I had taken some notes, so I wanted to make sure that I was able to support you guys some more. So just remember, it's easier to stay stuck in the familiar than to then get into the pain of uncertainty. That feels easier. It feels easier in our brains, but we are powerful human beings and our power of our brain, of what we feed our brain with, will actually shift everything. And when you start getting to know yourself and peeling back the layers and looking at what are the parts of me that have felt unheard and felt unseen that actually make the old pain comfortable. And, you know, this can, this goes back to childhood. It could go back to, you know, even your parents being human and their toxic behavior, which then was made okay at that time. And then it, it builds up like a snowball effect. So who's committed to big change? Who's committed to making a total difference? 2020 symbolically is a year of really, there's, there's a lot of writing around this, around, you know, if you desire it, great foundation, great love, great change, great um, abundance, and, and really the next level of transformation in your life. So I'm excited for you guys to open yourself up for change and know that, you know, take a look at this, you know, what is the benefit? What am I gaining? What's the payoff for me staying stuck? And if you are stumped around that, I would invite you to, to sit down with a pen and a piece of paper. And what might be coming up for you is resistance right now. The answers are in the resistance, you guys. And really start exploring what is the payoff in this? What am I gaining here? What, you know, what do I ultimately want? And what am I willing to give up to get there? I hope this helps you. God bless you. Have an amazing rest of your day. Please, please, please share this with somebody that needs to hear this, that you feel it would benefit. Or, you know, if you like this, please let me know. And comment below, is this resonating with you? What's coming up? I've given you, um, you know, some, some definite nuggets here to support you around stepping into big change, your voice, that difficult conversation, those things that get to be done. And there's a correlation between understanding and managing your emotions and change. All right. Lots of love to you. Have an amazing rest of your day. If you're on YouTube, please like, subscribe. That would be awesome. It helps me. And you can also get alerts to all of the new videos I put out there. See you guys soon. Goodbye.